This is about to be the longest video in the world. How fun is Jasmine? Impressive. Ruby Rose. Let's go. Are you dating anybody right now? Because no. I know there were some rumors floating around in 2020. That I was dating that guy. No, I'm not. Which guy? Which man? Whichever man you're talking about. Because <laughs> if you do not go through your man's phone. That and I'm drinking. Got my cranberry juice. I couldn't bring the bottle on here because guidelines. And plus, that's not ladylike. Not your man. Sarah, actually. that's not true. Sarah, yes. that's not true. Don't listen to me, Sarah. <laughs> Do you really want someone to go pop their gun, then come home and pop that cherry? Absolutely. <laughs> You guys look very similar. So I was like, what's the difference between you and your brother? He's like, I like guns and he likes Pokemon cards. <laughs> do you guys think the earth is flat or round? Don't ask. Why do you ask? I think it's flat. Like, I think it's... Ruby Rose, I knew she would say some shit like that. We're, we're, we're all talking at the same time. Well, it's your I can show. Do it. I mean, it's, it's our show. Well, the name's they're on the wall. Relaxing. I started. Um, hello there. Welcome back to Impulsive. It's the number one podcast in the world, as we were just telling Ruby Rose. Statistics. Who's our guest Data. today. Uh, there's absolutely no reason I'd lie about that. Ruby looks absolutely the same. Like, I don't know how old she is, but <laughs> shout out to the genetics. Genetics. 2024 is the first episode back. Maybe second. And we are stoked to have you, Ruby Rose. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. I can't believe you came to Puerto Rico. I had to. Welcome. Thank you. Have you met any uh, other locals? Um, any Puerto Rican culture? Food? Dance? Yes, we've been outside. We've low-key been outside. Okay. Like, every day we've been here. Listen, Ruby, I, you've been going crazy viral lately <laughs> for, like, a lot. Like, like, I saw this video of you, uh, like, dancing. I think maybe, like, rehearsing. I was doing, yeah, I was on Sexy Red's tour. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, oh, right. okay, sick. Yeah, there's this like old guy watching you, like perving yes. on you in the background. It was kind of weird, but it was, you know, flattering. He probably hasn't seen something, a black woman <laughs> doing that in a while. I respect so. that. No, no shame, just like watching you break it down. Yeah, we were in the ho like the hotel gym. Like it was like ten o'clock at night. I don't know why he was in there, but him and his wife just came and watched Check the you out. thirty minute rehearsal. The wife was watching too. She turned her back and just turned around. It was kind of like. She's like, let him watch. And then also recently, obviously, the most viral thing that I've seen is that dude who spent Lamar. Lam is that his name? Oh, it's we're my, oh we're buddy. getting way. I mean, <laughs> we're getting all the way into that. Do you want to get into that right off the bat? I say we dive into it. This guy spends thirty thousand, sixty thousand no, no. dollars a month on your OnlyFans. Hold on, let me let me intro some fucking context here. Okay, heard about that. A very big story. I want to make sure there's some justice given. Right, right. Okay, there was this announcement or this like this like story that broke on Twitter a couple weeks ago, right? A few weeks ago that this crypto whale had been outed for spending, I think it was $63,000. It's like 62, yeah. $62,000 in a month on Ruby's OF. Obviously a story like that breaks. Everybody's talking about a commentary, Twitter, podcast communities, so on and so forth. Bro, the fact that there are men out there that are, are willing to spend that much money on a woman that they don't even know is crazy. It's crazy. There is a picture of you guys together. I ran into him at my hotel at the Mondrian on Sunset. What and what was that like? Um, it was like now, like that. I think about it. I'm like, was it a run in? No, no, no. Or was it? Maybe he like knew I was there, yeah, but I don't know. You. Definitely stalked you. Definitely, definitely, definitely. How long he was doing it? We don't know. People like were saying like I should be scared of him, but he's actually like a really nice. Friendly guy, and he spent more, so he's like, "Oh, okay. Well, so it gets deeper, Logan. I don't even know if you know this or not. Now, now, there's so there's a, a bunch of ways we could talk about this. People spending that amount of money on girls, on OF, on on videos, whatever. This dude's gone on shows recently and said he, he said the following on one of the shows: I didn't purchase none of her OnlyFans content. I got the situation where I just went and took a picture with Ruby, right? I got paid for it. I didn't know exactly what it was for. I think it was like a promo thing. Her team hit me up." Whatever the fuck it was. I met up with her. I take the picture the next day. I'm like the OnlyFans top spender. I know there was some kind of thing where it had to do with OnlyFans top spender shit, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. It was made up to look like I was her top spender. Okay. Oh. And if you think about it, if this was a setup, this got her more exposure on her OnlyFans and made more men sign up. So even if that was fake, it grew her revenue just by it being fake. And everybody was like, well, shit, if he's spending $60,000 or whatever on OnlyFans, I need to go see what she's putting up there. 
and that probably that fake fake situation probably made her more money even if it wasn't true or was so this is my response like this is as of today like so this is in the past two months so and he has a tattoo of me on his on his oh my god so. one hundred and five thousand dollars crypto yeah. whale looking for a queen Are you gonna be his queen we're gonna be friends <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna keep it as friends wait so so wait so i don't get this because this dude goes on these shows to try to to i don't know if maybe this part of it was for content. i don't know i've seen like a few a few interviews and some of it like he like tries to like deny it, and then some he like admits to it so it's like first of all if he knew you were going to be at his hotel and y'all and that's when the first interaction y'all had and now he's lying and then he's sending you all this money and you just want to be friends i just want to let all these women know please be careful you're not ruby rose so you're not flying everywhere and um you don't have security or whatever so if you are a young lady on OnlyFans and you're getting a man that's stalking you and spending loads of money on you on you most of these men sometimes can become aggressive and because she's in the spotlight and she's not really a stationary person it's probably harder to get to her to her but considering you a regular woman doing OnlyFans and you know, you're at home most of the time, you work a nine to five to, you know, please be careful because men like this do fly off the wall. I can only imagine a man spending so much money and then getting upset when he doesn't get what he wants. And that does happen. You know, just because you're getting money, it doesn't mean you should take it from that person. You know, they could low key be crazy as fuck for real. Spent all this money and she won't give me no pussy or she wanted to like there's men that are like that. So please be careful if you're a regular woman out there. I don't know. She's how just... do you how do you deny it? Brother, you have a tattoo of her on your leg. You're denying being the number one He's spender crazy. and your Instagram is one of one spender. He's crazy. <laughs> the shirt. How is that it possible, just... bro? The texts are the most shocking part to me. That's why I'm actually surprised you let him in your vicinity. The, it feels, I mean, we just had Chris Hansen on our show, but it feels like a little like predatory. It's weird. He's well, like, he it's, he's like having a hotel. fantasy with himself in mm, your threat. I don't know. Like, honestly, like not to toot my horn. Toot that shit. But like, you know, guys, guys like me oh, a yeah, lot. They do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and like, me. you know, I give, I post and like, I, I, you know, you know, I, it's, per no, it's purposeful. Business. Yeah. That's your business. You definitely know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you know viral content, social content. There's actually a tweet here from someone that says, your parents are super educated. You went to boarding school in Switzerland and speaks, you speak four languages? Like three. This a, ghetto hood rat cosplay shit is just a costume for her. Is that true? That's what this, I'm just reading a tweet. Like, I mean, those things about me in the beginning are true. And like, but like, is it ghetto cosplay? Like, I just be like. But that's the thing though. So what he's saying is, from that tweet, you got to educate a girl with good parents that make good money. Why? Why be a rapper? Why do OnlyFans? Why? Just why? Right? Well, why do people that live in nice neighborhoods go in the hood and become drug de drug dealers? Why do like the movie ATL? Why do people that come from good backgrounds try so hard to be or to live a lifestyle that they don't even have to live? To them, it's just fun. But to people who actually live that life because they have to or they don't have nobody and this shit isn't fun to them, this shit is just like all they've known, you know, puts things into a different perspective. Everybody has a little persona, internet, urban persona. So I think that's just. Well, yeah. how much of it's true? Like, do you really want someone to go pop their gun, then come home and pop that cherry? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I'm glad that... you know that song. You know my Yo, song. I, you know I know your shit, Ruby. Dude, me and Ruby have. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time. We've hung out before, that's shocking. For sure. How was for it sure. when you were hanging out with Mike? It was fun. It was crazy. Like, well, was it Coachella? Where was no, it? That too. But also we hung out in New York one night with Kentucky. We you had a club. show. We went to the strip club. You performed at the strip. Because she'll, she'll like perform her shows like at a strip club. And so she'll like 
and throw that shit. I'd be throwing that Facts. shit. Facts. That's crazy. <laughs> you, you have a fun life. You have a fucking fun life. You, you, we boy have fun lives. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Travel the world. I don't shake my ass as much as you. Maybe I should. You should. But I don't have Congratulations a on your engagement. Thank you so much. That was so cute. He's but, engaged. Oh, wow. I don't really keep track of him, but that's what's up. Thank you. Yay for love. Thank Yay you. for marriage. Like, yeah. that's, I love that. Is that on your agenda? Absolutely. Soon? Whenever, whenever God chooses. You're religious. Um, I believe in a God. Mm. I, I see you guys be having like heated Christianity topic. She's not religious. She don't believe in God. Oh, Wait. don't know what you're talking about. That I has <sighs> never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys? I'm, I love Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian. Yes. He's Wait, uh, shout out to him. Yes. If they don't say Jesus Christ, we don't know who they're praying to. Remember that. Sure. Jesus? He's uncertain. I'm, I'm kind of like you. There's a God. I refer to the God as God, creator, universe. I feel like it's got to be one of those things. Don't tell uh, me he's one of those spiritual people. He's probably one of those. And I can see how each religion has uh, an extreme amount of value for people who need any sort of optimism or direction. And I think in general, they're all kind of saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so it's a little hard for me to su subscribe to just one. No, you know? one thousand percent. So I, 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 I'm in the same way with you. I had a deep. It's not hard. You're married. You found one woman. Hopefully, you're not cheating. You know. But I understand when rich people encounter a lot of options. It's hard for them to choose. But yeah. <laughs> with your brother about this, and I think we. I agree on that. Yeah, he he's very spiritual. He is. Did he talk to you about all about the ayahuasca, ayahuasca and the toad and shit. Yeah, I gotta try it. Are you ever doing psychedelics? Uh, mushrooms. mushrooms, mushrooms. Is that the extent? Yeah, I used to smoke weed like for ten years, extremely heavily, and I'm completely sober for Good. two months. But sober like no alcohol. Why? Well, I, I never really drank for real. But wow. But I would like I would like to taste one of those. An energy or a hydration? Energy. Really. Okay. Yeah. What okay. question did you ask? When I you said, did it kill anybody? Because <laughs> I want to try a prime. I was like, do it on the show. And then she asked me if it killed anyone. Uh, no, it didn't. Well, why there did was you that, ask that? That one drink, I think it was from Panera. It was like an energy drink that oh, killed somebody. Yeah. First of all, that person was diabetic and it didn't, they didn't know how much sugar was in it. And so when they drank it, it hurt them. Yes. It, the drink itself did not hurt nobody. The person that was diabetic and drunk it, not knowing how much sugar was in it, is what hurt them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. It, no, a couple, by the way. A couple people. Yeah. I think it's off the market. Can now. we get her a cold one? They're is it true, though? I thought it was that just that one person. <laughs> Room temp? Yeah, but cold. What flavor is the best? You, you tell me. G grab her a uh, cold cherry fruit. Sure, grab a couple. Part. Just grab a variety of what you think would be good fr from that fridge downstairs. And energy if you can, if possible. Thanks, boss. Is that hydration that you're drinking? This one's energy. It's in a can. It's for people above the age of 18. I gotta say why, that. Why 18? Uh, caffeine. Caffeine content. Okay. Facts. Makes but sense. no more than... Tell her the real story. I'm just letting y'all know that. Caffeine is very addicting. And also, like... More than any other drink, less. I don't have to. Exp I don't have to value. Ruby Rose ain't questioning me. You're, you're not. Uh, what's his name? Chris what's, Hansen. No, not Chris. <laughs> no, the, the guy. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Chuck. Sh you're not, <laughs> Who's that? Chuck Schumer. Who's that? Came after my product. <gasps> like, came after my product. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Him. Pitch to the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. No, be careful. He runs New York. He does. Uh, yeah. Lo like legit. Okay. legit. We love. He him. also is like. <laughs> he also. He also low key is like the most powerful person in the country. Is he? L like, is he? Like heavily. No. no. Yeah, is, is he, he Senate majority? He Senate majority. I think he is Jewish. That's so interesting. No, she's smart. See, everybody knows that Jewish people always they run shit. Nobody ever disrespect them. But because Christianity doesn't really run shit, people disrespect us more. <laughs> oh, why? Is there a connection between? What the, are you saying? I don't know, because like Jew, they always say like Jewish people are like run the most shit. powerful and like richest people in the world. It's amazing for them. My manager is Jewish. He's he's rich for manager sure. Manager Jeff. I gotta say this. We are we are <laughs> Shabbat we, Shalom. 
we're <laughs> we're bouncing on a lot of topics here. I, I, like, there's just so much to unpack, repack, and then unpack again. Mm, okay? So much. Mm. Like, like when when this dude was going, I just spit everywhere. When this dude was going viral for spending eight million dollars on your your OF, right? It Not got eight. You know what I mean? Close. It got picked up by a lot of these um these red pill podcasts. Are you familiar with the term? Um, like the ones where like niggas hate on bitches type shit. One hundred percent. Yes. Yeah, they're weird. I wanted to ask you about that. I, they're it, weird. Like I'd be wanting to like fucking clap back and comment back, but like they'd be like, I just know like. I don't like the having to choose a side, but a lot of what each side says makes a lot of sense. I'm nah, not gonna no bring point. more fire and like give them clout. Like they're on a podcast making. No, no disrespect. Oh my God, we got all flavors here. Thank Strawberry, you. watermelon, cherry, blue raspberry, lemon, lime. We're gonna go cherry. Ah, uh, that's what is I'm drinking right red? now. Cold cherry is, I, I personally, I find it delicious, but if you, you gotta be honest with me. I tr trust me, I'm never, I'm not a liar. Are you an energy drink? Can you drinker? open it with those nails? I can do everything with them. Okay. Am I energy drink person? No. Okay, just, all right. I drink matcha. Is that energy? Yeah, I think there's a little caffeine in there. This shit is delicious, y'all. Yes. Wow. I can't even lie. Yes. Wow. I like soda. Like, it's really bad. But this doesn't taste like soda. But it's just like a sweet carbonated. We th I, Ooh, I try not to drink as much soda. I mainly drink juice. Strawberry juice and stuff. Which is still a lot of sugar. But I try to drink, like, cranberry juice mainly. And just juice in general. If I have a soda, maybe like Sprite. But then again, I try not to drink a lot of soda. Cause it's really bad for you. It makes me break out, especially if you're a woman and you got a vagina. Like, whew, be careful to soda. It was pitch an idea to potentially make a, a prime energy with no caffeine, so it's just carbonated and you just get the taste. That would be good. Interesting, right? Yeah. Be good. So can we? So can we? Sorry, can, yeah, sorry, Mike. No, 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 it's fine. This weird guy spent a billion dollars on you, and now he's your homie because he spends a billion. Well, no, oh well, no, I'm. It's my bestie. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to be his bestie a little bit like give him a little attention you see what i'm saying like you have to be his bestie because he spends you a lot spends a lot of money on you and you won't get like that's weird that's so weird i don't want to feel like i'm obligated to do something for a man because he spent money on me and i don't like him <laughs> like billions of dollars like i already feel obligated you know if you have a boyfriend or whatever and he does a lot for you for you, you already feel obligated to do stuff for him because you're in love with him. So I can only imagine getting billion dollars from a stranger and feeling obligated to be his friend. The stalker, by the way. Yes, of course. Is it his ego that you think you're stroking? Pockets ego. But nothing else. We're, you know what? I'm a kind person <sighs> in general. Like, you know, so like, it's not like beef or anything. But, but he can't like, he, okay. Can There's he, boundaries. There's that's boundaries. That's what I was going to ask oh, you. 1,000 can, percent. He can't spend to a level that could get you to go on a date with no, him? No, that's already a level. Is billion dollars not a level? Mm. Like, where's that line drawn? I don't know. Like, you know, it's just, I'm a busy woman. I'm not going to lie. So if there was like, you know, time and enough spent... That's a possibility, but we're just not there yet. Are you uh are you dating anybody right now? Am I dating anybody right now? Uh oh. <laughs> the besties know. Um because no. I know there were some rumors floating around in 2023. I don't know. That I was dating that guy. No, I'm not I'm not with that man. Which guy? Which man? Whichever man you're talking about. I because the man, <laughs> I I'm I'm a young woman, so yes, I'm exploring my options. I'm dating. I'm but like I'm not like well, seriously. I'm all the way back with like still on the Coke Boy shit. That oh. is that like ten? Like, that was like a, one ago, three that ago? was a going to dinner. And oh, so okay. Somebody set up paparazzi. Because I love Frenchie, bro. I love him as well. He's like, I was just with him at F one. He's a he's a great dude. Look, you just so, you just said it. You're you're a busy girl. So how does a girl like you go on dates and cultivate a relationship? Exactly. You said you want to get married. Mm -hmm. Can these things happen given the insane lifestyle that you're living? I'm not gonna lie. It's really hard to date. Like I was just telling my friends, like going to pub like because going to a nigga's house is like it's just already too intimate but then like going like to like the movies or going to eat like people will take a picture and then assume that y'all are fucking with each other so it's just like tough it's a little tough you got to go to the private italian restaurants sit in the back but then like even doing the back rooms and private rooms it's like it's not the same ruins the vibe 
Yeah, like running yeah. out the movie theater, running out the bowling it's alley. The it's not the same. You don't yeah. get that full experience. Yeah. Can but, you disguise yourself? Or do people know that's Ruby Rose right Low there? key, like I be in a hoodie and mask everywhere I go. Yeah. And they still know. I'm yep. sure it was same with you. Was that Burning Man? Fully covered up. This was the first example I had of it. Fully covered up. And, and they knew? And people still recognize You're, you're pretty tall. You're very tall. I think that was how they said my, my build. How tall are you? 6'5". I'm Damn. Scared. I'm 6'2". Six, six <laughs> How tall are you, Mike? I rounded up. 6'2 six <laughs> and, and a half. Oh, yeah. Y'all are both tall as hell. We're tall. So, okay. So, back to this dude that spent $63,000. I will I will get through this. <laughs> Yo, shut up. The red, pill, the red pill community, as we were saying earlier, had a, had a field day with it. I, uh, we should play a game. Every time somebody curses, no. Because I don't hear them cursing. Oh, so every time they drink a prime, a sip, we're going to drink our... Our coconut rum. He's taking a sip right now, so I'm gonna get it started. You know, y'all are not red pill. Y'all are at all. No, are, no, no, we no. I like to be spectrum. in the middle. Now, listen, here's the thing. I said this uh, on someone else's show recently. There's red pill, conservative, moral superheroes. There's blue pill, liberal lunatics who are trying to change people into toaster ovens in 2024. Yeah, there's, a, there's two sides to each point. There's two different types of people on the red pill and there's two different types of people on the blue pill. You know what I'm saying? Same thing as transgender people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I'm purple pill. I'm right in the middle. I believe yeah. there's a lot of nuance in life. I believe there's a lot of gray in between black and white. I believe there's a lot of discussion to be had. I don't think anything's fucking perfect. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not popular. Mm -hmm. People want to hear people say, yo, this is the way. And if you ain't doing it this way, you're fucked up and you're going to hell for it. Like that's that's the type of energy that we have on the internet right yeah. now. For sure. Twice. They don't think you're ever getting a, a man that matters, Ruby. They think they think you are going to be a victim of simp's and beta males for the rest of your life because of the profession that you've chosen for yourself, doing OF, shaking your ass. Do you agree with that? Um, I of course would beg to differ. You know, because like, but I can understand where people would come from. And I know because of like my work and what I do, you know, it's what whoever decides to be with me, it's a sacrifice and like, but um, like knowing me in real life and who I am as a person is different, you know? I just wanna say one thing. A lot of men say they wouldn't do it, but then you talk to mature men and they say, everybody has a past, you know, especially if they're average men. Right. If we're not talking about rich men, we're talking about average men that work nine to fives, whatever. They're going to say, oh, everybody has a pass. Just like I have a pass. Right. I wouldn't want her to judge me and she wouldn't want me to judge her as long as, long as she ain't got no kids and she not crazy. We're going to do it. Right. A lot of average men think like that. Right. So I ask multiple men, I say, would you date a porn star? And a lot of them say, no right and then you say well if you really are in love with her and her being a porn star was of the past and she changed and she doesn't do that no more would you still date her a lot of them say yes average men average men so i could see why women like ruby would say i beg to differ but since ruby is in a rich status right so i don't see her finding a guy that is rich that would date a woman that has done only fans now if she's dating an average man maybe like a doctor maybe like a lawyer somebody in a nine to five then yes i see that so that's where i kind of am at you know it all depends. I do believe that men do date women that have a past, but it can't be continuous. Like, if you were to ask the average man, okay, would you date the woman right now if she was a prostitute stripper right now? No, they're going to say no, but they want to settle down with a woman that wants to settle down. Then who I am on the internet, but also like, yes, I do be on the internet doing what I do, but like, I'm a, I'm a fucking, I make a, make a million every month so. and then also as an average woman it's way easier for us to find a man because you know 
we're not in the spotlight. Everything that we do isn't posted online for billions or millions of people to see. So it's way easier to find a man. And we have more time. But like she said, she's re she's very busy, right? And her caliber of men is very high, which is part of the 1%. So it's probably harder for her to find somebody, you know? And she just said, like, she can't go on normal dates like us average women can. So it takes a lot of the fun out, you know? But listen, I'm proud to be an average woman. <laughs> I am. I say this all the time, bro. I'm good. I love it here. I'm not going to lie to you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I could not. I could not deal with that. Like that's insane. So you bring that side to the puzzle, but do you? Um, let, let me ask you like this: Do you feel like there's a shortage of high value men that are currently uh, chasing you these days? Define high value. Well, I, yeah, I know that that term is fucking ridiculous. To be honest with you, um, men who uh, men who hold some sort of moral uh, compass, who, who follow the right things in life, who earn money, who care for a house, or, or, or looking for someone who can help them care for a household and a family. Uh, a religious person, a career-driven person, a motivated person, you know, a, a supportive person, a provider. Respectfully, I have all different types of men from all different types of walks of life coming after me. I pick and choose. I saw I a tweet want. here that says, Excuse me. It's okay. Uh, Ruby Rose, December 16th, 2023. Okay. I have never and will never touch pink dick. I love all races, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one was interesting, Rubes. Is that I racist against a, pink dick? No, it's not. And actually, I have a, I have a confession. And that's what I'm saying. If you're an average woman posting that, you probably would ever get in trouble. And nobody would ever see that shit. But considering that you are a Ruby Rose, that's in the spotlight and people are continually putting your shit against you all the time. Like it's so hard. Like <laughs> my first kiss was a man of Caucasian descent and I gave him a hand job and he was white. But <laughs> since then, so I have never second. done so that. that but was, no, the reason that I tweeted tweet that, wrong, okay. Dude. The reason I tweeted that was because, okay. Like, do you guys know Wolfie Cindy? Of course. Beautiful girl. Yeah. Love her. I don't know her in person. You guys kind of look alike a little bit. Thank you. I, I oh see it a little bit. Okay, mm. thank you. Not really, but um, she's beautiful as hell. Anyway, so I commented on her picture of her and her boyfriend, and I said, "Daddy," like, because like they were like so cute. Like I was like saying like "Daddy," and then like it was like I had like hella retweets and um on Twitter they were like, "What the fuck is wrong with Ruby Rose? She's trying to get her nigga." And I'm like, first of all, I don't even respectfully y'all are both handsome men, <laughs> but they're like, I don't even go for white men. So I was really doing that in response to that, but mm. people just you know. So, why, why, why don't you go for white men? I'm just curious. Well, they don't go for me, honestly. That cannot be true. I mean, Lamar, but. She tries to lie. Like, the lying is has got to get better a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, in real life, though, white men never approach me. Only like black and Latino men. Do you think you're intimidating? Probably so. Bro, y'all see the trend on TikTok when black women say, oh, all you got to do is wear a bad wig and look bad and white men will come for you. <laughs> I genuinely believe that. Like, yes, I do believe sometimes, majority times, that a lot of white men are intimidated by, by black women, especially if she's beautiful. I don't know why. I don't know why, but. Probably so. I don't know, like, like, do you go for black? Well, before you were with your queen now, did you go for black women, either of you? Ruby, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm in your DMs. Shut up! No, you're not. As a joke, you be joking. No, that's part. You be joking. I have to. I have to handle this this conversation very quick because <laughs> I do have a girlfriend, Sarah. We love you, Sarah. We, for sure. So I have to handle this respectfully. But like, yo, we have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be honest. I think I'll speak for my white brethren. There are a lot of pink dicks. <laughs> <laughs> who are probably a little bit fearful of what you are of yeah, what you're no, working with. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think I'm a, I'm a all. lot of women. I'm a lot. Of, I'm sassy. You know what I'm saying? It has to be like a certain type of. But you want to know something? I know a lot of people may not agree with this, but I think white men are kind of easy. Like if I put this on them, on a white man, yes, definitely. And that's willing and wants to deal with me. And I don't think you know. Typically, like I don't know. I think white women are more like will listen and yeah. just be okay with getting cheated on and getting played with, you know? Cause you all, yeah, you also had this <laughs> I don't play that shit. Men, oh. men who cheat on their girl First deserve- all, that's not 
specific to white men. I think it's the cheating epidemic is hurting everybody. Epidemic, pandemic, what the fuck ever. Die. Death. Yeah. <laughs> and I stand on that. So if you was, see... <laughs> Dead? Okay. Okay. So let's let's unpack like, that. And for that's a past the age of twenty five. Because I think after the age of twenty five, like you're conscious of like what the fuck is you really going on and how you're cheating is so traumatic. No, it's fucked. It's Listen, you're so talking to two traumatic. Non Neither of us have or ever will fucking. Ever. Thank you guys. And I don't. Is the dog. I don't, I don't feel like I don't feel like it's even remotely acceptable whatsoever. I think I was taught that that labors of love are the most important thing that we have on this planet and. And if you if you feel Being like a that man way, of your just word, break, just yeah, break just up. leave, just, just leave. break up and go do your fucking thing. But you did get some feedback from another uh, red pillar on this, and I'm you know this is not anything or anything, but Tristan Tate. That's like you Andrew out. Tate type shit. His brother, okay, called you out Don't on know it him. because he he basically said, uh, "How would it look if I were to make a tweet that said?" women who cheat on their men deserve to die. Do you think that there's a double standard? No, there? I think what I I should have said everybody but i think women typically don't cheat like women are just naturally loyal and want to be with one this is the sh bullshit bro i don't think cheating is a woman or man thing it's not a gender thing we gotta stop with the gender wars cheaters are cheaters no matter the age race income obviously it don't matter the income because there's average niggas and rich niggas cheating there's average women and rich women cheating there's doctors lawyers there's strippers there's people that work at the gas station that cheat people that drive freaking hondas bmws mercedes lambos it don't matter like so that just got clipped because right now there's a massive audience on the internet that believes that women cheat more than men. yeah but yeah but yeah but this is a conversation and solely that like there's no statistics to back any of this up and i think i would actually agree with you i i, I would assume and maybe i'm incorrect that women are kind of more inclined to be loyal like they, they'll they'll if they have a good man that's always been the perception they men are, their men man are cheating dogs and that's always been the fucking that's always been the perception i don't agree that women cheat more i think men are and there's no there's no science because some people claim there's like this science where that it's like men coded are in wired, your DNA. Exactly, yeah. We're wired to be polygamous, you know, fuckers Genghis and Khan this and that. And pollute the yes. world. <laughs> exactly. With our seed. <laughs> exactly. But there's really no science that promotes the idea that that men are are Yeah, it's all about self discipline. Like everybody can, you know, control themselves and, and not everybody has self discipline and that's a problem. We don't have and I think what is ruining our self discipline even more is the internet. The fact that a lot of people can't limit their screen time and they be on the phone 24 seven. A lot of people don't even know their neighbors, never conversate with them, never ask them if they're okay, if they need anything. So the internet is definitely like pushing us, push, push, pushing us out of touch. So it is, the internet is a contributing factor of why we don't have self-control um one person monogamy i mean to each its own whatever you like you like but me you never cheated even then posting everything that we want to say on the internet and never really getting any slack or punishment for it that says a lot honestly right the only real punishment that people got from saying stuff on the internet on the internet was about covid a lot of rich people a lot of people in power couldn't say stuff about COVID and they got their pages turned down, whatever. That was honestly the one time that I seen like a whole group of people get their pages taken down and whatever for saying stuff that was bad, right? But other than that, people don't really get hurt or not hurt, but yeah, hurt or exposed or get a negative reaction to when they post stuff that is bad so it leads to people posting and saying whatever they want and that is what's hurting people's self-control right because then when you see somebody in real life the things you would say when you're behind a camera you would but when you see somebody in real life you wouldn't say it right you see what i'm saying like a level of self-control and oh yeah and the whole tasha k cardi b situation yeah 
where Cardi B sued Tasha K because she thought she could say whatever she want, no self control over the internet. You see what I'm saying? I cheated back back then. Like when I was younger, my nigga would cheat on me, and then I would go do whatever Spike I did. Cheat. Yes, I but that's allowed. still, no, that's still wrong. I should have just left. Now where I'm at, at the age of 26, and they could cheat on me, I'm respectfully, peacefully You're out. exiting. But dudes do need to be mindful of that spite shit because, bro, you, you, I'm going to be honest with you. Every action dudes, is a reaction. Yeah, but the reaction with women, it tends to, like, dudes will be out there, have a bad night, get fucked up, and, and, and fuck a questionable, questionable, questionable dog person, looking hot. right? <laughs> and I'm telling you, when your girl gets back at you, uh, no. it's, oh, it's they gonna be, be with your sick. best friend. <laughs> Wait, oh, I don't no. know. Because here's, <laughs> here's the thing: dudes are stupid, girls are conniving. Girl, girls have no mercy, bro. I'm telling you, dudes, dudes cheat because they're they're they fucking have momentary lapses. They're stupid. Girls, when you when they're getting back at you, they they are not thinking about your feelings. In fact, they're making sure that you get it as bad as you possibly can. So I think. The panel. I don't think anybody is not thinking about their feelings or the partner's feeling feelings if they're cheating. So, like I said, I don't think it's a gender thing. I think it's a cheater thing. They, the person wasn't already thinking about your feelings when they cheated on you. Men need to think more about what that penalty looks like when it comes back. That is factual. Honest. If if they're getting caught, like how how you. How do you catch a guy Me? cheating on you? Oh, catch a guy? Yeah. The f girls are How the to feds. catch a guy cheating on you? Girls are the feds, I'm going bro. through that phone. If you do not go through your man's phone, that is not your man. Bro. Sarah, that's not true. Sarah, yes. that's not true. Don't listen to me, Sarah. <laughs> I have nothing. You can go through my phone this, you this, want. Your girl's name is Nina, right? Nina, yeah. Does she go through your phone? Doesn't have to. She has, has, my, she has my passcode. Okay. Has she ever, like, in the beginning relation uh -uh. stages of the relationship? Uh-uh. She did admit to me that she used to be like that, uh, but I think I've given her the confidence that... Uh, she doesn't need to. And I invite her to. Like, I don't care. Let me let me ask you a question. Do you know about all the investigations that the CIA and federal agencies are doing right now? Your girl's the feds, bro. If she goes through your phone, you ain't going to know about it. She might tell you. She, yeah, that's She true. knows every fucking text message you got in the last year, bro. Trust Probably. me. Probably. You know what? I don't get why it's such a problem for women go through men's phone. Like, it's 2024. Why are we still having the same conversation? about if your partner can't go through your phone. What's wrong with that? If there's a level of trust, respect, honesty, he can go through my phone, I can go through his phone. What the fuck does it matter? Especially if you're married, bro. You're married, engaged, and y'all can't go through each other's phone. Like, what? Only one that claims they used to be like that. And why is that a problem? If this is somebody that you could marry for the rest of your life, why does it stop at going through each other's phones? This is somebody that you created babies with, gave a ring to, spent over probably five years knowing, gave her a ring, more years to come. But it stops at phones. Foot checking up phones. <laughs> She's like, I used to be like, like that. <laughs> Fucking take a nap, bro. Uh, Your shit is done. Dude. Do you think that's a a level of paranoia that you'd like to escape though? Like right Yeah, no, have... I don't want to be. I don't like I'm gonna do it in the beginning stages, but after a while, like I don't <laughs> if a nigga makes me feel comfortable enough that I don't have to go through it and like I'm not questioning it, then no, like I don't wanna like be a fucking stalker with You know what? I think I might have to add that to my list of deal breakers. If I can't go through your phone or you can't go through mine. Sorry. That's my new deal breaker for 2024, for real. For real. It's childish. It is. Like, what if I have to use your phone for an emergency? And then a lot of people use the argument, well, what if they're trying to surprise you? Me, personally, I don't like surprises. I'm not speaking for everybody else. I hate surprises. So all of that, well, what if your parents trying to surprise you shit? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, this is my rule. Just <laughs> like that, but I want to know if I'm getting cheated on, so I can not be with you. Do you look for Do you look for like some signs for like, for example, like body his language? Girl, I was his girl doesn't, and to be honest, my, mine doesn't either. Is your girl white? No, <laughs> she Latina. A fucking Cuban, bro. Ooh. So, but the reason why is because I don't. Um, I think that when you look at our behavior. 
it's so apparent. Like, dude, like she she would never be able to find one girl's picture that I liked on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like, like, I'm you're not respectful. fucking, I'm you're respectful. 100%. There's no bullshit, no reason for her to go through the phone. You know what else helps? Not to interrupt you, but yeah, like, no, no. We're, we're busy. We're doing shit, Ruby. Like, I got- and That's the thing, man. This is to women. Finding a man that is always busy is 100% needed. I mainly find that people that are cheaters are not doing shit. You're not doing anything. That's why you're cheating, bro. Because you don't have enough time. There's not enough time in your day. Well, there's enough time in your day for you to do whatever you want. People that are working constantly don't have time to do it. They're really tired. Like, I'll be like, babe, go pick up an extra shift. We about to do something. We about to volunteer. We got to go do something. He going to be sleep. <laughs> Same thing for men. Keep your woman busy so she don't got time to deal with other men. To do than fucking ruin my life. No facts. You know, with some <laughs> hooker. Like I don't. This I don't... is why you guys help to build each other. If you guys are constantly sitting down, coming up with goals for the month, it helps to keep y'all's mind busy and keep y'all on a straight path, straight and narrow path. You know. I don't care. I'm I'm with my woman. I love her so much, and I have a career that I'd like to follow and pursue. Like she, she's with me all the time. It just so you guys are monogamous and don't have a, an agreement. That that's correct. Okay, good. Yeah, you yeah. as well. Oh yeah, no, no. I've I've been hooked up with that's good. Not not a not a big nor could I ever be a open relationship guy. I I even think I even think if she was down to like run a threesome, I wouldn't be comfortable with another with that. woman. Mm -hmm. You would or wouldn't? Would not. That's good. I I would not either. It just it it's just so feels, hard. feels muddy. It's weird. It feels so hard. Oh, it's just, so hard. It's I would get so jealous. Hard. Yeah, like for watching. sure. You you do one stroke a little too passionately. You're cooked. You are fucking no, cooked, legit. son. Dude, it's hard to even manage threesomes when one of the people is not in a relationship. Well, like even when you are having a threesome with people you just met that night, yeah, you're trying yourself. to show. I wouldn't know. Maybe if you're a master at it, but I'm just saying like generally <laughs> you're, okay, let me put it like this. When you meet when you meet a couple girls and you go into that scenario, guys will always tell you the truth on this. There's always gonna be one of the two that the guy likes a little bit more. For sure. In the situation. Maybe it's the one they went after originally and then the friend came along. But like you really gotta, you really gotta split that attention up because it's somebody's got, gonna get. It's called quarterbacking. You gotta be a high school. I'm glad that guys are admitting this that there is a chance that a guy might like somebody more than you. So I'm glad they don't put themselves in any situation for that to happen. Quarterback for that night, varsity of throwing four touchdowns and 210 yards at least. 100%. And sometimes you got to step up to the plate. I wouldn't know anything about that. I love my woman. And men know this because if they let their woman F a dude in front of them, they would feel the same way. They would feel like, oh, what if he does that better than me? You know, men aren't stupid. They're not. Uh, love her down. You wouldn't either, huh? No. Ever. You never had a threesome? No. No. I like one-on-one -on -one intimacy. Me too. Mm -hmm. You're a good girl, Ruby Rose. Thank you, Logan Paul. Educated. Thank you. Successful. How would you describe your career? Like we were trying to like categorize you a mm -hmm. little bit and it's mm -hmm. a little hard, right? Like, are you a model? Are you a rapper? Are you a personality? Trapper. 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 No, I don't know. I think I'm just like, you know, an, <clears throat> an entrepreneur. Um, but like, I think I'm like an artist. Like mm. my music is art. My pictures are art. My sex work and OnlyFans is art, so. I wanted to ask, what are you selling on OnlyFans? Like, I know the spectrum of what appears on OnlyFans is mm -hmm. wide. Wide. Are, are you, is it nudity? Is it like actual sex acts? I, a fucking I have two pages. I have a free page and a paid page. So, you know, they can. You hook them? They can. Yeah, they, get, they have two you, options. You catch them. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta ask you this. Yeah, you know what you're doing. You had a uh, recent uh, collaboration with a uh, creator by the name of Neon. That's my homeboy. Hell yeah. D uh, okay. For the people who don't know who Did Neon is. Did you see that? He's making me drink, for real. Hold on. Let me go. Put some more in my cup. Just in case you thought I was lying. Cass, when they were like saying that like he put me on. Yeah. Yeah. That, so was, I wanna... that was a little weird. That was a little weird. So they and he were, defended me. I fuck with him. Like I fuck with him. So well, much. yeah, because they were trying to say that the whole intent of you like doing content with him was to promote your OF. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think that that's true? No, not at all. Like I don't even think I brought it up. And anyways, respectfully, I wasn't the one who set it up. I don't watch like 
respectfully. I don't watch streaming Dreamers. and shit like that. Some my person who I work with. They reached out to him and like set it up. And then we built our own personal relationship. Like he'd be going through like some shit and I'd be giving him like big sister advice. But like, of course, like I'm not, I mean, no, I do hang out with like regular people, but you know, I don't, I'm going to hang out with people in my level of like, you know what I'm it, saying? Well, in your sphere, but that's how, but that's how the internet talks in the same way that that, I don't know what show you're talking about that said that, but the same way that that show was saying that you uh, were, were using him or whatever, like, I I'm close with Aiden. I'm close to a couple different streamers and I know that they have teams that reach out to people that are exactly like you to, to actually bump their numbers. Nobody's up. exactly like me, but yes, but you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like yeah, they, yeah, yeah. because but they, yeah, cause they do of, these IRL streams all, and they need other people. Yeah, It's social media. Like you, you know, that's why some people are successful. And that's why some people are. But that's the purpose of social media is to network. Right. And I don't think Neon or Ruby should take it personal. Right. Because both of them are networking with each other. I'm pretty sure Neon's audience will go watch Ruby, or Ari is, and Ruby's audience will watch Neon. That's the purpose of marketing and strategy. Did he ever try to make a move on it? That is a little ass boy. Like, of course he, um, you know, I'm sure he probably th found myself attractive, but like, you know, that's a little boy. Did you bring him out at your show? And I did in LA. It was lit. But you introduced him as a Make-A-Wish kid. <laughs> I did. That's what they told me. That's what they told me. Ooh, who, who told you? His manager came. Oh yeah, that dude's always in some shit, bro. Shut so, uh, and you gave him advice on like, cause I, cause I've, I've talked to him a few. He be uh, going through it. Like it's hard, you know, social media, like people aren't, I know, you know, like the way when people come after you and try to cancel you and talk shit about you, that shit affects you. Like really affects well, you. What do you think about his like, okay, cause I, cause he's, he's in the sphere of people that I'm friends with. I mean, Aiden was like, kind of put him on and was like, his like big brother. I'd he'd be doing Aiden. some wrong stuff. That's what I'm, that's what some I want to ask stuff, you. Some stuff he'd be like, like violating. I put him on, like I put him on, um, <clears throat> I did, I went on his stream one time and, and like people fuck with me. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, all right, shut up. You 40 year old heroin addict. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't give a fuck. That's, that's fine to me. But then I put my girl on and he's like, you know, like, who's this flat chested whore, like fucking like talking okay, shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's like. Yeah, no, there's definitely some violations, but I, I will say this, like. How is he behind the scenes? He's sweet and kind and like nervous and has like, you know, he's just a sweet young boy. Like, you know, you have to put on a fucking act to make it on the internet. Like, it's Especially really, the it's hard to. Like, I don't know. I agree with that, you know, and there's only a certain level of of act that I'm willing to do. Like, I can't, I can't, I just can't. Because I know when people meet me, like off the rip, they gotta be like, oh, you don't act like that. I mean, people that are already in your same sphere, like I'm pretty sure a streamer meeting other streamers know what's up, but like people out there day to day, you know? But I can't do it. Like, I like being myself, I just, uh, no. Do you think for your, were you 100% being yourself? When? Just, okay, now you probably are at your grown age. Cause now you've like built the hype. But when you were first starting YouTube, you have to be more animated no, yeah, and be more no, crazy. No. Yeah, and I have to be more sexual. But again, this was at the beginning of YouTube. Like Logan Paul was damn near, near the beginning of YouTube. You know, that's how he got famous. I'm pretty sure he was before Mr. Beast, I think more like urban and hood so you know you you just have to put on the show yeah social media has definitely gotten harder you have to go ha way harder than before like content wise more creativity everything is going at a faster rate you know people's att attention span is not there you know it's way harder i think i think this show is the most genuine version of me people can find because I'm just sitting here talking. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, but no, especially when you're first starting out as yeah, well. Yeah, you, you gotta get waves, their attention. You want to get that shot content out and you become the worst version of yourself shot depending talk. on- Exactly. I didn't have to do shit. I just had to show up and just be a fucking asshole. I'd start dating a, like I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, that was different for me. I guess because I had rocket fuel with you. So it's a little bit different, but most people, when they first come on, they got to do that kind but of- But you're not naturally shit. an asshole. You're no, not an asshole like that. I'm just, you know, right. I was a little bit reckless when I first started, right. you know, and I did shit that I might not do now, which I guess is the case with him. Were you giving him advice on his, uh, his relationship? Yeah, for sure. And he really likes the girl. I'm so sorry, it's like but I'm just like, 
it's one thing for Kai Sanat to get advice from Nicki Minaj because she's a married woman. Even though people don't like the person she married, she is a married woman with a child. And she has not cheated on him for all we know. But like getting marriage or relationship advice from a OnlyFans model slash rapper, good girl that puts herself in a bad lifestyle because it's fun. Does. Fuck the internet. Fuck what the internet thinks. Like they hate her. They're gonna hate any girl who what? does OnlyFans and makes yeah, money. Yeah, kind of like that. Just because I think they think that she's like a like a leech for. And I'm not. These aren't my words, but that she's a leech for and using him for clout. But I don't know. Like he likes her. She seems everybody's using everybody for clout, especially if you're in the mainstream. Um, like and Neon is using Ruby Rose. Like any man that attaches himself to Ruby Rose is smart because people are gonna automatically ask Ruby, "Did you fuck him?" Right. And that's how they attach themselves onto to her. Same thing for Nicki Minaj. Every person that Nicki Minaj doesn't like and she shows attention to people that they don't like, they're going to go to Nicki and be like, hey, you don't like them, right? That's how people come up off your name and people start using each other that way. And no. I told him that. He, a he asked me on the phone one day. He asked me about it. And I was like, bro, like a lot of people are going to try to give you advice. Like if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Here's the Fuck thing, that. men, women, everybody, you have to learn through doing exactly. like, sure. advice. Advice is never, that's why all these like red pill podcasts and shit like that, like trying to give people this, like this black and white guide on how to live life, live life. That's not how life works. No, literally. you got to touch the fucking stove. Yeah. That's it, bro. Your mom and dad, mommy and daddy can tell you all fucking day. Yo, don't touch the stove. Don't touch the stove. It's going to do this to your life, to your career, bro. I'm on this couch right now because of the mistakes I made in my life. Exactly. I would be working some fucking nine to five right Literally. now somewhere. I'm sitting here doing doing dope shit, having great conversations, making impact because of all the shit that I went through. So when I when he asked me about his relationship on this 30 second call I had with him, I said, bro, if it feels right, do it. Exactly. Yeah. Don't listen to people. Bro, stop getting relationship advice from people, bro. You know, I know I'd be playing like I'm a therapist or some shit, but I know at the end of the day, People are going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And that's real facts. And if they do it, I mean, I can't be mad at them. It's their life. Life is short. As much as people think it's long, life is short. So how are you going to spend every second doing it? Getting advice from people or just taking a chance and seeing where it leads you? Who like the chicken? Your homies are telling you not to do it. Blah, blah, blah. She's using you for this and that. Unless it's so apparent to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it, it doesn't seem like it is. Yeah. Just go through the motions. If exactly. you get your heart broken, then so be it. But and even then, if that's something that you want to do, if somebody's playing you, fuck it. That's what you want to do. A lot of people be knowing what's going on and they still chose to do it because guess what? That's what they want to do. Do you ever get your heart broken? Yeah, yeah, I've got my heart broken. You ever get your heart broken? Absolutely. Nobody's gonna tell you like your homies are never gonna be able to talk you out of that shit. Yeah, that's not, not how facts. love works. Yeah. You have to go through the motion. That's it. Go through the Interesting. Motion. Have you done any other streams? Any other streamers shows? Um, like Kai, Kai and like Aiden. So you're in the zeitgeist of like streamer sure. culture, and I know you're not watching these these people. You know who they are, I'm I'm yeah. sure. But but you have someone on your team that's like, hey, this could be a good collaboration. Um, well, like with Neon, yeah, but like Kai and Aiden, they just like hit me up because. What about this show? He, wow. my, he hit me up, my, my person. Oh, really? Yes. And, and so when you do these, is a part of you thinking that it'll boost specifically OnlyFans numbers? Like I imagine a large part of our audience like, would be like. I mean, like my main, like this is where I'm at. Like my shit grows every month. Like mm. it's going to do what it does regardless. Mm. Like, but also like me as my Instagram, my Twitter, my everything, cause all that shit, it goes in tandem. So like, it just, you know, like, of course I would, I would hope it. I mean, my main focus isn't my OnlyFans. It's really like well, social brand, media in general. Like, well, and I gotta I, keep my shit going. Yeah. Like. So, so, so again, I'm back to the question of like, rapper first, social media star first. I don't want to be known as an OnlyFans sex worker. Like, no, no, thank you, please guys. But um, like I mean, I do music, like that. That's what makes the most money is my OnlyFans. So, so but do you, I do do other things. Like my main but focus. Then, if I don't want to be known as something, then I just wouldn't do it. 
moment of silence of what I just said. If I don't want to be known something or something, I'm going to do it. Isn't that? So how did you I started make the decision? Yeah, to in 2020 start. during COVID, during the pandemic. For for what reason? Because you, my you, ex did it. DDG. He started it first, mm, and he told me to right. do it. Oh, he got a kid. He did. Congratulations to them. And I yeah, said, so how I mean, does that make you feel? I I love children, and he has been wanting a child, so I think that's lovely for them. But no, no, like, no ill feelings. Absolutely. Why do boyfriends tell their girlfriends to do OnlyFans? Leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think is the theory behind that? Your boyfriend or somebody you're dating for years telling you to do an OnlyFans. Or somebody that claims that they love you. That's a baby. So he started, he convinced you, right? Yeah, he was like, like people had been telling me to do it because I would like twerk on Instagram for fun already. Yeah. And then, yeah, I did that, dropped out of college and moved to LA and my life has just been like going up since. What have you been buying? That's a lot of money, a million dollars a month. Surely you're spending it on some dope shit. Um, I've bought a couple houses, some cars for myself and my friends and my family, um, and just like property. Like I'm, I'm very frugal. Like we're all three sleeping in the same bed at the hotel together. No way. We're flying Frontier home. Like yeah, but is the hotel the Ritz? The hotel is not the Ritz. Yeah, like we, I, I live frugal. Did we, did we book her? No, you guys didn't. But it's okay. Oh. Uh, that's probably why or how the stalker got to her because of how she lives. Because if you're at an expensive place, upscale place, and you have a lot of money, living at the Red Inn is probably not the safest, especially if you walk around with thousands of dollars in jewelry and a stack of money in your purse i don't think that the that is the smartest if you already spent money in assets like houses which is stuff that you can air and be out then what's the point of living like you don't got no money i understand yeah trying to save your money the vanderbilt is fantastic it's, it's so nice. oh, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> okay okay but you're frugal yeah i would say so you have money in the bank I mean, I have money invested in place, but yeah, I definitely have money in the bank. I'm not spending. What are you investing? Um, like I have, I don't know, like JP Morgan shit. And then I have like, I'm doing like AI crypto and then like, you know, like Bitcoin shit and like Damn. certain things like flights and hotels, like shit that I'm only going to be on for like a couple hours. But aren't, but don't you read all that off? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's, I travel to 100. Exactly. So what's the point? Like, I think for her safety, she should not go to those type of hotels and shit. I think she should. I don't know if she has security either. I don't know. She just got to be careful, especially if she has stalker fans. 40 flights last year. I do. I <clears throat> book a lot of travel because I could write it off. It's part of my mm -hmm. content. I'm, I want to talk about this, this r relationship history, if you don't mind a little bit. We can touch on some things like with, with which one? You you can also tell him the fuck I want to I want to respect because like he's no, in I'm a not, relationship and they just had a baby so I definitely no no like, no, 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 okay. no I wasn't even gonna bring okay. that up that's actually not even on my well yeah it is shit no 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 I wasn't gonna say that I was just gonna I guess what I'll say is this you have a, a a history of dating people in the in the space as you move more towards serious relationships would you consider dating or taking seriously relationships with people outside of the industry. Absolutely. I do not want a man in the mix, Lord. I do not. Like, unless, like, they're, like, the token ones like me, which genuinely, like, they're not. Um, no, I don't what want What do you mean by that? Like, I don't know. Maybe, like, I've been in the mix since I was, like, 16, so I'm, like, out of the mix. Like, I make my money. I do my shit on the internet. And, like, that's, like, you know, I'm not trying to be in the club, in the strip club, you know, fucking and getting like clout from like random ass shit so um okay so you mean like you mean like more off the grid people that yeah i guess the idea of having been in the space for a while definitely makes sense because generally when you first get in that's when you're firing off yeah and also like i feel like i've like i've seen it all type shit and like niggas haven't seen it all yet and they want to like fuck every bad bitch with the bbl that's like, true though a lot of people get impressed 
way too easily. He knows, no disrespect to BBLs, but so it's like, you know, I want a nigga who doesn't care about, you know. That type of shit. Exactly. Is there a, is there a body count on the, on the men's side that dissuades you? Mm -hmm. Or would you assume that the dude that you're going to be with pro probably has, has what happened somewhere. before me like that like everybody you know has a fucking past so you know i have a past so no i don't i like it. what matters is the now and the future so do you think if you find a lot of women think like that though why is it women think like oh, okay we have a past everybody has a past but when you go to a rich man that's like weird it's like well your past you know changes you and it's so true it does eliminate you from a lot of things depending on what you did in your past i 100 percent agree but also there is the other side of the spectrum too not everything is black and white a nice guy who was not in the industry they'd like understand your lifestyle yeah really mm -hmm. it's complicated though you, you you do a lot you travel a lot if mm -hmm. you wanted to come home and talk about work or even like social media strategy and this person has no idea like what how, or how Instagram works, that would be difficult, no? Mm, yeah, but like like the internet is in my whole life. Like, you know, like I travel a lot and mm. I, but like, you know, I make a lot of money so I can like bring them with me and- Fair, fair. You're just obviously, I can tell you, super um, like goal oriented, especially when it comes to your career. Like you're out here like hustling. Absolutely. So having, a partner who also acts as a bit of a soundboard is nice. At least mm -hmm. like for me, that was always my concern. Like I, I, I before Nina, I was like, I, I'd love. What type of woman were you dealing with before that? Um, like they, influencer woman? Yeah, like, well, they all, they all knew my world at least like a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it, I found it difficult to converse and really establish a long-term relationship with someone who didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And and what I'm doing is like nuanced and weird, but there are parts of it that they would understand and that was always nice. Yeah. Um, you know, I like- mean, yeah. Like you're making money, you have to understand, bitch. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 <laughs> yeah. that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. would, you ever, would you ever consider uh, dating a dude that makes significantly less than you? Yes. How come you gave Paul Pierce the wrong number? Who said it was the wrong number? Well, I know it was. Well, I know. It was, well, I know it was the right number for for like. Would you ever? Would you do you fuck with Paul Pierce? Would you ever let him take you on a date? Um, uh, he's a nice man, but respectfully, like I think the age gap is a little. How, how old is he? I'm unsure. Do you have a a list in your head of qualities that you look for in men? Absolutely, what I is pray it? for them every day. Um, like the, the like number one thing is just like loyalty, lovingness and like, you know, making me happy. So like, what's the number two thing? Loyalty, lovingness. Like I like affection and like being like very sweet and loving and, um, loyalty is number one. Loving is, is, is loyalty. Like, has that been a problem for you? It's been oh, the sure. outstanding like, like, I'll be honest, factor in every relationship. Really? I'm traumatized. Like, I think I might need a little therapy. Really? Probably not. But yeah. it's that's so funny to me like i had a list as well mm -hmm. and and loyalty wasn't on it because like to me that's a fucking given if you're not a loyal person we're not even having no, a conversation. like i think this generation is so fucked up like bitches really think that all niggas cheat and like they don't they don't but a, a lot do a lot do or maybe the ones like i don't know i seem to like be picking like the same type of nigga have you have you ever caught a man in like a in the hyper act. hyper elaborate in the in act? act no well, not f actually fucking her, but like one time, like I caught the nigga with the bitch in the car, and he had her hide in the back seat. Yeah, and then I closed the door and went to my hotel. What's the that is really sad, bro. The fact that there's men out there really doing that shit, bro, it's really sad. And shit just won't change. Like there's men out there that are doing that elaborate cheating scheme and then like, there's women out there that are willing to do that like if you know he has a girlfriend why are you willingly hiding in the back seat of the car when his girlfriend comes when she just seen you like what about that is fun 
Have they ever named the 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 person they're cheating with like a a, a homie's Hut. name, a P Pizza Hut delivery guy? Settings. Um, <laughs> no. But Did like, I get smart about it? Like one time, my homegirl was getting her lashes done by a girl who was fucking with my nigga, and like my homegirl recorded the whole conversation while she was getting her lashes done of the girl like talking about how she knew that me and this nigga was together and how they'd be fucking with each other. And she like helped him pick out the jet for the birthday that I went on. And oh. and then he like begged her not to tell me and like sent her flowers. And then she like showed me like all the texts of him begging her to not tell me. So it's like niggas just go through great lengths of oh, great lengths. Like what? And the thing is, don't go through great lengths to cheat on their woman. Great lengths. Guys. Maybe it's time to try some white dudes. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, hey, I mean, That's what I'm thinking. Nah, nah. No, nah, we suck as well. No, but it's not. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't. I guarantee you that. I don't no, know. Nothing changes. No, nothing no, 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 changes. no. I don't know. It's, but you got to deal with a certain type of guy. No, but maybe there is a statistical breakdown. I, I don't. I don't believe. I don't that. think so. No, I'm sure there's some level of. I don't think so either. Of statistics or data on ethnic cheating breakdown i'm sure that i'm I don't sure there's know. data it goes for it goes both ways like you know latinos are known for being like super loyal and loving to their sweethearts but then also on the other hand they be you know just like y'all like why we it's everybody it's everybody it's yeah, all ethnicities it's everybody. It's, we're the human race everybody's the same it just depends on how you it just depends on how you view it right like there's a lot of people out there who view uh, there's a lot of men out there who view cheating as like something that's like somewhat acceptable. You know what I'm saying? It's like acceptable for them. For them. And that's where the standard comes in. It's acceptable for me as a man, but for my woman, like, no. Like, what? She wouldn't want done unto you. You don't do to other people. Well, well, no. Listen, us saw on this couch and in this room get it completely. But what I'm saying is there's a subset of men out there who think, yo, like, like I provide, I make all this money. I do all this stuff for you. I buy you all this shit, whatever. Th this is not me defending it, but you mm -hmm. got to admit because no, you've yeah, been yeah, through yeah, it yeah, yeah. that there are dudes. And that's why I say if Ruby has a man that is spending billions of dollars on her and who's stalking her and she's not giving anything, these are men that you need to be scared of because they can lash out at any minute. You know what I'm saying? Most men don't take no for an answer, especially when it comes to their hard earned money like this 1000 i'm gonna go out i'm gonna get mine i'm gonna come home and you're not gonna find out about it and it, it, it is what it is like dude you see it in popular culture too you see it on the sopranos tony sopranos got his guma his fucking side chick the, the the fact that the term side chick even exists is evidence of what i'm saying like we we have, we live in a culture where we're cheating is at least somewhat it's it, a social norm right now it is a little bit it's not a social norm, but it's at least part of the conversation. But, but I've never cheated. So is being broke. Life. A lot of people are broke, and a lot of people are cheaters. And you know, I don't want to be as that. I don't want to be either. I think they're broke because they spend their money trying to not look broke. Ugh. The f the flex and the appearance perception is often reality for a lot of people. Can mean a lot to a lot of True. men, specifically yeah. young men. They're focused on the wrong things. Do Do you ever reach out? to guys you're interested in or you, you let them come to you? I let them come to me. I'm old fashioned in Always. that sense. Always. Right? Wouldn't I wouldn't you be a little suspicious like bitch, why? Do you, do your girls come to you? I'm sure girls come to you, but the ones that you actually want. Did did Nina come to you or did you go to her? She came to you? No, no it, she didn't. a little bit of both. The night we met, definitely she she made the effort. Cause mm -hmm. she she had kind of she kind of she abandoned me for a project. Or sorry, she abandoned my project. We like we were about to work together professionally mm -hmm. for a, um, a photography photography project I was shooting. Okay, and she canceled last minute, and I took like a little bit of offense to of it. Of course, it it's was like business. weeks of contracts and shit. Yeah. But like I, in her, in fairness, like I was not offering her like a lot of money, and I, I, it just I can see why she didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, all right, whatever. The night we met, she she made the effort to 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 rectify the to, situation. To come meet up, and okay. I was like, all right, like that's cool. And then we hit it off, and now we're fucking engaged. <laughs> I love that. It's it's okay. nice, Ruby. I'll, I'll be honest with you. She checked off every item on my list, and then I had to add items to my girlfriend list called the wife list, 
that I I didn't even know were so perfect for me that 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 she can do. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the person will come along and, and and timing is a lot of it as well. And it happened the old fashioned way, which I love. There's no dating app. There was no DMs. Yeah, it was the real life. We ran into each other at the right time, worked out, and I take pride in that. And that's beautiful. Fashion full Hell of yeah. fickle internet bullshit. You know, one thousand percent. I love that for you. What yeah. about you, Mike? Where'd you run into Shorty? <sighs> Why do you give a help? So, anyways, <laughs> what's, what, nah, my, my, dude, because I'm gonna say it, it's fu it's just stupid, but like, because I can't explain it. Like, it's gonna be one of those situations where I'm like trying to make an excuse for my girl. My Sarah was like, had been like partying in my. She's from Miami. She's been partying in Miami since she was like 14. She's like 25 now. Uh -huh. So she she had like completely given up on love. No, well, maybe, but given up on like the party lifestyle. Okay, but. It just so happened that, like, I, so first of all, I haven't. I'm kind of like an idiot. It's okay. Enjoy yourself. Well, I do, but I'm responsible. I don't do it. And by the way, I'm out occasionally. I'm not out all the For time. How long should a man enjoy himself going out, like age wise? Like, it just depends. Like, like it really just depends. If you have money, if you're broke, you should not be partying. <laughs> like, use that energy and time. Right. But if you have money, enjoy yourself, celebrate life. Clip it short to Sarah. You're good. No, I'm good regardless, bro. I make the fucking rules. I mean, I'm just saying. No, I'm just playing. I'm no, playing. I'm, I'm playing. Sarah, look, please look, don't Mike, hit me. Mike's please don't. I said, Mike, when you turn 40, I don't want to see you at Hyde. I, I don't want to see you no, at No, I haven't been to Hyde in a I, long time. That's so true, though. Like, it's not, like, certain shit you just got to grow out of, you know? I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself in life, but I just think that if you are partying a lot and you're 40 and you got kids and you're married and it's like you're in the club like say that shit for young people you know um but can you go yeah i think you can go but not a lot and why would you go by yourself you know go with your girl y'all go out go to the strip club together with your girl like all that going out clubbing all the time when you're 40 and you got kids and you're married it just looks like i'm sorry whether you're rich or poor Whatever. It's like if I see like forty plus year olds like yeah, it's, it's, out it's and about, questionable. Yeah, like, what the fuck are you doing? That's questionable. And yeah, so you good, but, you're good but now, but Mike, you it gotta. Is, it is strange, but also at the same time, uh, my my belief in life is that like you'll never hear me tell somebody what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck if you want to be 98 years old in the club. Yeah, and single, enjoy yourself. And, 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 by the way, and like I believe in what you're saying to an extent, but like and broke. I just, I come from a weird place. I'm a weird no, person. You so I don't do, give a yeah, fuck yeah, what yeah. you do as long as you're not trying to tell me what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not, no, I'm not tell, I'm just, but, I'm no, not I telling anything. I get I, it. But I would definitely be like, oh, what the fuck? No, I get it. But, 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 but anyways, so I met her. I was at Story, honestly, on a night when French Montana was performing. In Miami? <laughs> yeah, in Miami at Story. It was the last night Story was open. So I went because the Nelk boys were doing an event there and I was with Sam and Shahidi and Kyle and everybody. We went there. And I met her there because she was randomly there with one of her friends for like a birthday or something. So it just sucks that that's the storyline because we don't club, we don't it's go okay. out, we don't party. But that is where we met. And I Ask saw her and I was like, yo, that girl's fucking beautiful. Started talking to her. I don't have a checklist for my girlfriend. I just like, I run off vibes. Yeah, you like what you like. Exactly. So I met her and I was like, oh, she's dope. And here we are. You know, it was like seven months ago. Period. Y'all locked in. Yeah, it's great. And so Weedy told her that... uh Saweetie told her at F1 that uh, she, she said, that boy love you. You must have that good pussy. She must. That's what Saweetie <laughs> hey. what She really took a lot of, she really pride took a lot that. of pride from Saweetie, <laughs> Saweetie saying I would, that. I would, I would too. <laughs> Shit. When did you start popping off and why? Um, Like, I would say like 2014. Like, I, I used to have really curly hair, but now I like strain my hair all the time, so I don't gross. But I used to have a hella curly hair, and then like I would post pictures and like curly pages like would post me, and then I got curly like pages? followers. Whoa, whoa. And then I did bad and bougie. Oh, that's and then right. I, like, did you start rapping because you could rap or you wanted to rap? Like, really, I did it like as a joke in college, and then like. Like people talk so much shit that it made it kind of get lit. And then I just kept trying. And then like my second song, like is still today, like my latest song that I did. Isn't it funny how you could make such a uh, like run off people talking shit about your work? Yeah. It's, it's wild because like, there's like this TikTok kid. It's like, just saying this right now, like 
Kevin, I know you're gonna know who I'm talking about. You know that dude? Uh, is it Lil Mabu? Oh Do you yeah, know I'm talking about. He's fire. That but, boy but is like smart. He, but his like he put out the first few tracks, and and everybody was like, "Yo, who is this white He's kid?" Strong. It's like Slim Shady. It's a hunt, but it's deeper than Slim Slim Shady because when M did it, M was talking about I'm a drug addict, mm -hmm. like real or white. Weird Al Yankovic. That's no, what I'm no, no, about. but but let's. No, nah, let's stick with M for a sec. <laughs> when M did it, he was talking about problems in suburbia, addiction, like childhood trauma, abuse, mm -hmm. shit like that. So people were like, okay, it's weird that he's rapping, but at least he's rapping about that type of shit. Exactly. Lil Mabu does it. And from the shit that I've seen, he's like, yo, I'm coming to shoot up your, your city. Like, he's trying and to he's, drill. And he, yeah, he's a drill rapper, but he's like a Catholic school kid, right? Yeah. That's back to what I was saying. There's something to be said about people that come from a good background and then go to like sell drugs and go to the hood like like what are you doing here you have a good family like what from new york right yeah he's in the mix i don't know i don't under, I understand enough about it but the question i'm going back to is like technically that's enough to propel your career the hatred does as much as the love does literally views the, the hate is love the hate is the love because you're still tuned in, still fucking watching, still taking the energy to type some motherfucking shit. Engagement. Yeah. Do you so. think 99% of, I always like to say that 99% of hate is just jealousy with a mask on? Probably, yeah, for sure. And like people on the internet 95%. are are yeah, weird. Yeah, maybe a little low. Do you ever have How people much? come what up? What else could it be? I don't know. No, 95 is a lot. On online hate. Like, like, I mean, bro, I mean, Tana flamed Matt Reif on her podcast because he he said that he's like, you know, what? I just realized that like, people people who hate on you, they're just jealous of you. And Tana was like, okay, so like people who hate on Osama bin Laden, are they jealous of him? No, but no, but like, so so it's just she, a blanket statement. No, 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 <laughs> no. But that's why I gave it. But that's why I'm trying to give it a percentage. I would just lower the percentage a little. Bit. But I, I, how much? Where would you go? Because like, because like Osama bin Laden is like a sh exception that's, to that's, the rule. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like, bro, you bring up you. Br there's a lot of other people that people hate on online. And you look at why. Do people ever hate on y'all in person? Like people only come oh, to y'all with positivity. Ruby. Never, never. I never is, get no negative. It is astounding. Issue. Yeah, people. The internet is the most unreal place. No, ever. literally. And by the way, the people who do have the courage and like boldness to hate on me in real life, like let's talk. Yeah. What? Let's talk. Like there's, we can figure this out. I'm yeah. a human just like you. And like you said, hate and love are this far apart. It's the same emotion, just a little bit in the opposite direction. Like. Literally. The, the same reason, like you could be so loving in a relationship, homie cheats on you, now you fucking hate him. Mm -hmm. But how you went from the opposite end of, ends of the spectrum like that, like they're they're it's very the close together. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they always leave the conversation. It's it's funny. We had we just had this conversation all week while we were together. We just went on this on the ski trip, and for y'all's pictures so cute. Uh, yeah, for a hundred people that that came up and you know talked to him. 99 were like, yo, like huge fan, love what you're doing, WWE. There was the, I and think then it, I think one, one dude, <laughs> he hate. went off a ski jump <laughs> and he said, he was in the air for so long that he was able to say, I fucking hate you, Logan Paul. While he, he was flipping in the air. But it was incredible. I'm gonna be honest, that was awesome. planned no, and he's a fucking weirdo. It but sick. it's funny, like I'm serious, like it's almost like 99 to one. Like I really, like it, what is the percentage? You yeah. know what I'm saying of it, but. They always come out of the conversation like, oh, you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. Like, you got to people make past judgments online. They need to come speak to people. Well, they hate, hate, conversation. hate is like a weird thing to do in person. Mm -hmm. Like, who got that? Who goes out of that? their way to tell you, I don't like you? If you don't like somebody, you just steer clear. Yeah. Shocking. Exactly. You ever experience anything like that? People just come. No, people only want to take pictures and Will hug. you take pictures with fans? Of course. Always. Always. Every single time. Even at dinner. Even at motherfucking no dinner. fucking way. Yeah, because guys, like without them, I would not be. You know, fair. without them, without fair. we wouldn't be anything. No fair. I some someone um, I was taking pictures on the mountain and like if I'm not at dinner, I will. Every person. Pretty I'll much tell always them like picture. after no, I always. eat, let's do it. That, that's what okay, I'll yeah. say as so, well. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'll say. Like it, I don't ha take pics at dinner or like in the bathroom is weird. Like okay, at the urinal. That's weird. Like people need to stop. Like you know they're eating. You know they're trying to enjoy their time with their family or their loved ones or their man or something like i get it but like certain places like would you want to take a picture of me in the hospital no so why would you want to take a picture of me at dinner like i get it 
like maybe the club or something, or maybe leaving dinner. Leave me the fuck yeah. alone. Yeah. Uh, but outside, fine. Um, uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. Um, you were. Nope. Get nope. back on the nope. back on the train. Nope, it's gone. I think it's gone forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. You ever watch WWE? Truthfully, <laughs> that's where your brain. That was no. your savior right there. <laughs> that was his save. His brain's like, come up with one of the brains, quick. <laughs> Arch, you already tried Prime. Uh, do, do you ever watch WWE? <laughs> like that was that's where his brain goes. So, so you're not you're not a Kevin Owens fan. I don't. I don't. I don't like violence. Yeah. Truthfully, he yeah. Kevin Owens but not. Yeah, in the beginning of this episode, she says, "I want a guy to like pop that in the air and then come home and pop this." Like what? But she said, I, I don't like violence. And then I saw her in an interview when she talked about a, gu a guy putting his gun in, in her face and she liked it. Like. Tim out. Look at his eye. I, I was going to ask that. It he didn't knock me out. When was this? Well, he knocked you uh, down. Two days ago. Two days ago? That's when you got that belt? Uh, no, no, I've had the belt. Make no mistakes. <laughs> I'm the reigning United okay, States green, champion. Green. Uh, <laughs> is this a joke or is it serious? No, he got, he, got okay. he did. He got. He hit me with an elbow. Yo, you know what's? You know what's is crazy? that legal? Elbow me. It's legal. Uh, I will say in wrestling. So you do wrestling, not boxing. I do both. Okay. But I'm gonna focus on wrestling. You walked in here. You said uh, I'm with the world champ, and I had to correct you. I was like, well, technically, it's the United States champ, but I'm going for. The world championship you should which why not ruby you know absolutely like, shoot, shoot for the stars, the stars. Um, i was about to say what were we gonna say i just want to say quickly that his eye because I, I he needs to be humble there once in a while like let's be honest bro he's a united states champ it's it's nice when he gets knocked around but that that's gonna heal that for sure he's gonna go down and i don't want him to forget about it i don't want him for him to forget what happened so i got something for you actually to remind you i got you a kevin owens action figure is because, that like the legend? No, that's a guy who did it to him. <gasps> and I want to make sure yeah. that you always have a reminder yeah. okay. that that's that that Kevin Owens did this. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Hey, get, get this shit out of here. Also, also, he doesn't have this type of definition. <laughs> he doesn't have. Fuck that. Nah, no shot. He's my next opponent. He's my next opponent. You're going to beat the shot of him. I'm a, I'm, I have to. I'm defending my title. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Nah, you should come to an event. If you're ever, if you're ever in the same city as us, Ruby. Hell yeah, I want to come. So I, I, as someone who comes as an outsider, would say yes. And are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who's I swear to God, I'm about to call the Russo's on your ass. Nah, 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 nah. Because Jay's a homie now. Nah, nah, Jay's nah. Jay's a homie now. I'll get him to flip your ass, suplex you from the top rope, and drop you, bro. You brittle ass heroin bones. Fuck you. Every time you hit him, he comes back to me, too. Where'd he go? So, so, so look. There's obviously like a theatrical component to it. Like, I'll exaggerate, but I'm a dramatic, I'm a drama queen. I love drama. Like, I'll, I'll. I talk you be shit. you be shit talking. I like it. I be talking my shit. <laughs> It'd be good. Drama king, more like a bitch. Bro, Boy, stop, you stop, 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 stop. I'm actually gonna fire you from this podcast. <laughs> you can't fire him. He got equity. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, technically, you can fire me. You can fire me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, though. Right, Wait, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. What's up with the heroin jokes? Well, we're mm. all right. I will say this. Mm. I will say this. <laughs> we're a dark. Repeated. We're a dark group. Okay. So I, yeah, I have a, <laughs> everyone knows I have a past with drug addiction. Are you asking like, why are they making No, more genuinely, like, cause I remember you said that, um, Neon said you something about oh, heroin yeah, and then no, he just said I it. I have a past with addiction, so it's become, it's just, we're all kind of a dark community. Like he, it's my go-to. Cause there's not, let's be honest, Mike's a phenom. He's, he, he- beat, And a fiend. He, he, and a fiend. <laughs> he beat a heroin addiction. Really? Should, should be dead. Like w was- uh, you were, I know we're in the middle of this, but like, I wish I had a black right now. I know I'm not supposed to want one because I'm a lady, but like I only smoke it really when I'm with a guy, a man. But like, yeah, I kind of want one, but I just hate the taste. Like, oh, shooting up for ten years. And beat not it. all the time, but I did shoot up once, yes. But I, I didn't do it all the time. 
Here's more opiates, but I'll, I'll do that. No, I'll no, do no, no. It, it, that would be opiates. Yeah, but, but I I, isn't, it isn't the, okay. the method of injection different? No, I just sniffed it. And there's not much I can roast Mike on besides, you know, his hair, his age, his feet, his ex girlfriend. Uh, what what do you mean, my ex girlfriend? You have a problem with sex workers? No, not at all. What? No, I, hate, <laughs> I don't want any problems. No, no, no. Just, uh, you know. Actually, no, nah, I can't even roast him for that. This is what I'm saying. Like, he's, besides the real, like, surface level stuff, Mike's a phenom. So, I, I, if I can What's take a, a shot, a phenom, like a um, phenomenal person. It take that, yeah, yeah, essentially a phenom. He's a very special, unique, outstanding human. Hey, thanks, man. I got you, Mike. I do love you. Set down the fucking Kevin Owens action figure. I love you too. When's your guys' birthdays? April first. I'm in Aries. Okay, interesting. You Capricorn. Capricorn. So your birthday's coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm a Libra. What does it mean? Um, I don't know. Kim Kardashian and Cardi B are Libras, so mm -hmm. in Doja Cat. Those two as like um. Yeah, I look up to them. I like them and their lives and how they carry themselves. You're not a barb. Nicki Minaj is a lovely lady. Or her music is lovely and she's a lovely lady. What if you had to choose only one of the two? Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a yeah. trap. Oh, they also do T-Mobile. Do yeah, ass. I like both. They're both very respectful fire women is what you're going to say. What about you? Who do you choose? <sighs> oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. Little I'm baby? Little question. baby or little Dirk? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm... I love Dirk. Dirk the way. fact that these people don't want to say anything bad because they know their money will be affected dramatic, dramatically if they pick Nicki Minaj or Cardi B and they have to turn to the side so their whole production can be like, or it's crazy to me. Like, crazy. For sure. Just because, you? just be. <gasps> Little baby, I'm sorry. No, I'm that's from fine. Atlanta. No, that's wow. fine. See, I, I I know Dirk. I know Pete. Shout out Pete. Shout out Dirk. Shout out all the Chicago guys. I met Dirk. He's a cool. Pete, actor. awesome. Yeah, Pete. Unnecessary balling. He's, oh, okay. he's Dirk's manager and oh, okay. also Juice and okay, okay. the whole side. Like Bibby and them type Bibby, shit. Bibby, same exact. Shout out Bibby, like that whole squad. So I gotta take Dirk on that one. And I would and I would choose Dirk anyways, just by way of music. And I know a lot of people might argue that because Baby has a lot of fucking. Tracks. Isn't it interesting though how they always like try to pit them two together and they what? never pit niggas against each other and there's so many niggas? Why? I think I think pitting people against each other is natural. People pit Jake and I against each other all the time. We're brothers. Honestly, but you he, guys you guys look very similar. Okay. Except one doesn't have tattoos. I, I what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because I don't understand that at all. People four one in five people think I'm Jake. I'd, Yo, that's Jake Paul. I'd be getting y'all confused. I didn't know who no I was doing the interview with. Tell me, how, tell me why. <laughs> tell, I, didn't I didn't know. know who I was doing the interview. I didn't even know he had a brother. I'm sorry, but so no, y'all are both amazing. Wait, can we do? Wait, can I quiz you on some things? But I, I was like looking through both of y'all's Instagrams. I like stalked y'all's Instagrams, and y'all look like gladiator white men. Like y'all look very like you interesting. Know what I'm like, I feel like I may have been born in the wrong generation. I, I say that in a compliment. Like y'all are like Thor. Is that what you're saying? Oh, Thor? thank you. Yeah. Thank Who you. do you think is more Thorish, him or Jake? I don't know. Jake has that beard. Do you have siblings? I do have two sisters. Older, younger? One older, one younger. Oh, you're the middle child? I'm the problem child, like your little brother. Oh, no way. The middle? He's a middle child as well. What's going, what is it with the middle child? Do, do they not get like the same amount of attention as, as, as the first child and last child? Like, That's usually the case, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Do, do you get along with them? Mm-hmm. Is having, did your parents um, stay married? No, they divorced when we were like 10. Oh, young? Yeah. You know what? That's probably why she's... Um, doing only fans and shit i'm like she comes from a nice background right um she speaks three different languages she's smart as fuck like why why are we doing that it's divorced too yeah same, same, almost same age you got any weird uh dms from anybody like strange absolutely but i don't want to you know put oh, anybody oh, on glass exposure? no that's lame are you gonna expose people no. no, guys don't do that. Yeah, but it's I feel sassy. like I, 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 didn't, I didn't know if that was your type of thing. Because I was, no, gonna, no, I was no. gonna ask you, like, I, I'm sure all the normal people are in there. For sure, I know Lil Wayne's in there. I know Actually, Wayne, An Antonio Brown, Lil Wayne, and Ruby Rose, wild. Honestly, you know what? I wouldn't see that. I would see Cat Williams and Ruby Rose. <laughs> I don't think I've. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Little Wayne actually get caught with like a OnlyFans baby mama drama type shit. 
honestly. He's a hundred. Who, who's that? AB. AB. I don't think he's. I don't think him actually. Possible. That's not possible. not possible. Um. Um. What What will get you to respond to a DM? Business. That's how niggas trick me. Is they'll oh. be like, "Let's work," and I'm all about working. And then I I get there, and it's. Oh. it's not how many times do you think Ruby, Ruby Rose has been like tricked into doing business, and she showed up, and it's a nigga jacking off. About work. Think you should get there. That's you get so there, funny. butt ass naked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, that's so funny. Nah, my yes. idea, my what about DM. you? What gets you to respond? You don't respond to people. Uh, well, now it's just it's just work. Um, I just saw like rich people. They don't check their DMs. They or they don't really be on the Instagram. I just be thinking that they gave it to their manager. At least that's what I would do. Like, what am I checking my DMs or anything for? Like Instagram and stuff will be strictly business for me. Just hand it to my manager when I'm done. But like I definitely when I was single and I would like shoot off DMs to to women, which I didn't do often at all. I would probably send maybe like five, six DMs a year. Has Logan Paul ever got any like allegations from women? I think he has, right? That was way back then. If I'm not mistaken, like at the very height of his career before he went to wrestling or boxing, if I'm not mistaken, I, I, it felt like uh, it felt like I was just shooting it, it blanks almost, mm -hmm. like in the dark. And I don't know, I wasn't like, what is the proper hook to get a baddie? I never was able to like figure it out through a DM. Like, what? Well, like DMs don't do shit. Like, I I've never like if nothing's ever gone far through a DM. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess trying to, to trick this? through work was was <laughs> is probably the best. Who would, is, who would ever do? Who would ever do that? Me to Ruby. Nah, let's shoot some content when I get <laughs> mix up our audience. He, he he got a DM to you that says let's shoot some content. You said that to me. And guess what? You responded. What I said? With a cry laughing emoji. No, but then, <laughs> no, but then she said. <laughs> No, but then she said, when we link it out here, oh, sure. which was to do that, to shoot content. But, but, um, no, what are you talking about, bro? We used to school. We used to have an academy on DM classes five, four years ago when we were single. The, the go-to when we were single. Let's be friends. Resp no, was, it's respond to stories. Respond to you make stories. A, you, you make a relatable fucking comment about a story, which by the way, that was the first time I ever DM'd was with that. You posted some shit about dudes like not take, wanting to take you out to dinner. And I said, I made a reservation for us at Applebee's. And you thought that was funny. <laughs> you said the crap. That's sweet. That's sweet. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, you're re you're responding to stories with something relatable. Did he just say he set up a reservation for him and Ruby Rose at Applebee's when he got a girl? Like, that's crazy. Something funny. And you're cracking the ice. And honestly, like, if if you're if you're not like in some like looking for like marriage type shit like right off the bat if you're just at, you're watching this you're 24 years old you're trying to slide in on a girl you could be a little bit playful like say some yeah, say playful. some shit that like balances like yeah not banter. you're pretty or you're bad because yeah, we get that, that all the time the playful shit it's is almost better. like you're like really really politely and kindly talking shit type do you shit. know what I'm saying type like shit. that's that that's always been the recipe like very like in a sweet way but not like a mean way so then how many dms unreciprocated dms is too many if a homie's <laughs> two three four d two <laughs> leave it at two yeah stop right. at two yeah or like find a way to like see them in real life and run into them in real life like because that real life shit Bro, she better than like show up at I'm their hotel <laughs> Well, honestly, he did. He did get to take a picture. But I mean, I mean, you know, it worked. But at what point are you stalking? You know, like yeah. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've had like l legit stalkers. No, no, surprisingly, no. I'm very like Shocking. safe. You post where you are after you've been there. Yeah, and if I even do do that, actually, yeah, when I used to, I, I try not to like really post too much anymore. Too many details. On your stories. On my stories, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I imagine you, you got to be kind of careful about what you're doing a little cautious yeah but it's not even like i'm i think um like i don't even think danger is not going to come towards me because i don't put out you know i don't think stuff like i know it can happen i hate that attitude ruby really ruby come careful. on yeah. That's like, like people, that's I think like it's like me getting a gun. Like I wouldn't get a gun because I don't think I need a gun. That's how everybody, that's how I used to be. But now like you just can't be like that anymore. Like, <laughs> let's put it like this. Like tech. I agree with them. Like you have your amendment. You need to get a gun. For real. 
especially if you're going to cheap hotels and you like I said, she got over ten thousand dollars on her in, ju in jewelry and she got a stack of money in her purse. She needs to be protected. She needs to learn how to use a gun. You know, like with the amount that you put yourself out by way of your work. Okay, you're a tra you're a track. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you, you got dudes showing up to your hotel, um, spending thousands, millions of money on you, and you know, you see them in person. It's like the fact that they can, the fact that they know where you are. When you normally even go to like an expensive hotel, like you're literally just at a normal hotel, like it's kind of weird. For that type of shit, but everybody out there should be prepared for self defense. I be with niggas with guns like around me, so it's like Always. I don't. Yeah. I think I'm I'm okay. Are they legal guns? Because that's a whole other thing. Or are they? Brat, brat. I don't know. Brat. Truthfully, I don't know. I don't ask questions. Just just because if you were to use an illegal gun, that's who a, me. No, not you. Did they? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like using a an illegal weapon is far less likely than using a legal weapon that you're allowed to be holding. We have our CCWs here in Puerto Rico. Concealed carry. Permit. I know your brother was telling me he loves guns. Yeah, what he did he, uh, he probably and you had love Pokemon he cards. Probably had Girl, you gotta use your amendment. Listen, I'm always carrying. No, I'm playing. But I agree with her though. Like some women just don't want to carry, but it's like you still need to learn how to use a gun. You still need to go to the shooting range. Like, you know, even when I'm with or I'm dating dudes, like, they always have their gun on them because it's like, you never know. This world is crazy. Like, conceal always. On him. And yeah, he did. He's, he's always so did his homies. Probably. Yeah, what'd he say? He told me, like, because I was like, what's the difference between. Even if I don't have a gun on me, like, I've been to the shooting range multiple times. So I know if something were to happen or if I do get a gun, which I really want a shotgun. I know how to use that shit. Brother, he's like, I like guns and he likes Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> so, sounds so lame. When I introduced Jake to Nina for the first time, you know, like it, both of us, you don't- Do you they don't, like each other? They do like each other. That's good. Uh, he, was, he was skeptical at first just because he's my brother and I, I'm always going to be skeptical of any girl he is bringing around regularly and so is he, but mm -hmm. um, um, they're, they're, they're tight now. They're cool. That's good. Um, but the first time Nina met Jake, I was like, all right, you know, like this guy's a character. Like you, you said, you're like he's a special boy. He, he, he was very calm. Like, um, he's calm. calm. He's calm, but he's he is unique. He, I was like, yo, Nina, come meet Jake, and we walked into this gym downstairs. A homie's reloading like four shotguns oh, right boy. at the door, right, <laughs> at the, right at the door. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect. That's Jake. My Paul. brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we stay protected. I'm not naive at all to random acts of violence or intrusions. Yo, the fact that Logan Paul, who knows how to wrestle and box, is literally saying and telling people to get a gun to protect themselves, says a lot. <laughs> a man that can literally kill you with his hands is telling you that getting a gun is good for you. Like, that's what I'm saying. People need to wake up, like, and all that, oh, well, we don't need to, we need to ban guns. Like, first of all, it's not the gun; it's the people behind the gun, right? And it's like, well, if we ban guns, guess what? Criminals are gonna have the guns, and then regular normal civilians won't have guns. So it'll be nothing but criminals and police people having guns if something were to happen. Now what? Now you don't have a gun because you try to ban it. You see what I'm saying? So us i'm actually a little i feel like paranoid. that's more like boy shit though yeah like, you're probably but but a nigga but would it, just try to take me but i can't get took why can't you get took because there's niggas behind me following behind me everywhere i go but there's i mean there's like four of you right here you got him he's a photographer there's somebody, but he's freelance. There's somebody outside in the car waiting to, if there's somebody go Ruby, i think you should protect yourself just because you want to protect yourself because even though you have niggas behind you always protecting you because they got a gun listen you sh should carry it on yourself because you never know what's going on, bro. At all times, people be setting people up. People be setting their own homies up. You know, you get what I'm saying? Especially working in that industry, people be paying people off to get rid of people all the time, setting people up, breaking into people's homes and shit, just based off of people that didn't know. Comes through that entrance. Uh, oh, shit. There's people in the car waiting. Oh, so you're all so you're all set. Can can we talk uh, about uh, so some weird shit? Do you do you? 
like anything outside the space? Do you li like study dark matter, black holes, or aliens? Black holes. Like, um, what's some weird shit that no one knows about Ruby Rose that doesn't involve OF, doesn't involve rappers, doesn't involve fucking any of that shit? Mm hmm. Like, what's your hobby? You got any hobbies or interests? Uh, you know? Only hobbies are shaking ass. Nah, I'm playing. What? Zero hobbies. No, I mean, like, okay, like, Get I like. Money? I mean, no, okay, like, I like, <laughs> like, um, like, mermaids and like um i mean like i like like princesses and princes and kings like, but I do like, you study like that no like, i don't study it no i don't i'm not gonna lie do so you just we, like, we, she actually may not have a hobby outside of only fans and shaking ass yo i thought she was gonna say like oh i read or like i play chess i play checkers like you get what i'm saying i study i read or watch documentaries or on very important people or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's more than just OnlyFans, social media, ass shaking, rapper, guns, 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 violence. Study like random shit we're into. I'm I'm into UAP U unidentified aerial phenomena, like UFOs. Okay. I'm into, I'm I into like UFOs. conspiracy theories, like shit like that. You know? Like you, you know you know the shit in Miami, like there was like this... that's what I was asking about. Okay. That's exactly that's exactly what I was trying to pull. Across the street from my house. Yeah. Literally. Oh, Bay Bayview? Bayside? Bayside. Let me ask you a question. I'm not even trying to be mean, but that's majority of what be going on. Majority of these women or people that be on OnlyFans and shit that are strippers like i'm not saying that they're not smart i really think they are but it's like what other hobbies do you really have for real like visit earth they've traveled four million real. i know they've traveled four real. million light years these beings right they come into our atmosphere where are we going to go should we visit the pentagon should we learn about the secrets you're telling me these motherfuckers went to bayside miami that's where they pulled up. <laughs> That's where they, that place is a shit hole. That's what I'm saying. They always be lying. The government always be lying, bro. They don't ever say, tell you the truth. Because guess what? The truth is terrifying. And a lot of people would go kicking and screaming if they found out what really happened. So they'd be just like changing the story and shit. I'm like, well, damn. What about the truth? Like, I had one of the worst empanadas of my life at that place. And you, you think the 10-foot alien said, let's go to Bayside. We can go <laughs> We can go to 11 afterwards and party with hookers. Like, bro, they're fucking super intelligent beings. Why would they go there? Why the fuck would they go there? I I had the same question. That seems like... Not a... even that, but like... <laughs> like, like, why people, not, though? Why not? It, it yeah, 11's lit. They, 11's wait, lit. they do have that... Oh, my God. They have that fucking Ferris wheel there. There's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you guys think the the Earth is flat or round? Oh, don't Bro, we're worry. We're about to have this discussion again. I'm tired of this shit. I'm just wondering, like, what like what type of time are y'all on? Who's asking? Ruby. Who do you work for? I'm just. It's a question, guys. What do you think it is? I don't want to sound retarded, so I want to hear what y'all think. Do you not say it? I think it's flat. Like, I think. It's <laughs> no, you don't. That's what we've been saying. No, like it just like I don't know like Hello? wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I I do like it's cut just that. like I've watched so many videos. Ruby, Ooh. cut the shit. Stop. You don't think the fucking world is flat? I don't know. Like I've I've watched a lot of videos. Like I don't know. Do you know me and him? Well, I guess he and I. Me and do you know we made a documentary on the flat Earth? There's so you guys agree that the Earth oh, was a joke? We posed this flat Earthers and infiltrated. This exists. The Flat Earth Convention, which I'll we'll bring five hundred of these to. idiots all in the same spot talking about how the Earth is the flat, fact, each with their own like different opinion of why it's the fact that there is a Flat Earth Convention, and I guarantee you that majority of this room is full of white people. Says a lot, or probably Jewish people, but even then, they're probably not in that room. Probably only white people. I, it is the dumbest group of people I've ever seen in my life. Wait, so how it's do we know, how do we how do we know that the the Earth is not? There's flat. a million fucking scientific data points that 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 provide info and intelligence around a, a, a spherical Earth. We've seen it from space. What do you want? What are you saying about the satellite imagery? It's fake. Yes. God dang it! Is, Ruby, is them going to the moon real? Well, I was gonna ask you that. No, Ruby. Why on. did they never go back? So so you don't have to believe both. 
Because I don't think we made it to the moon. There's either. a lot of lies, y'all. There's mean? a lot of Why lies. Why not? Uh, there, Gus Grim, how Gus Grim is the flag baby. waving in the, in Grim the is, no gravity? And oh, everybody has ta- takes all these videos and says this happened, that happened. You speed it up a little bit, you see this. We're going back to the moon right now. We're going back. No, we're not. Yes, Why have they never won? Someone's back going back. Either we rush her. When you watch the Cat Williams uh, comedy special, he said that they said that they visit over 300 planets. But I'm like, where's the 300? planets at is there a book with 300 planets in it because i have yet like i can't remember and, it is and some- what's all their names what's the list of the 300 planets going back to the moon right now yo listen i'm all- I, i'm really i really messed up when i hit this i can't get it well whatever just hold on to it because the more you play with the mic we gotta now wait I'm for you to do it Rose. <laughs> It's okay. Kevin, you gotta help me. This is Kevin. He's hey, Kevin. uh my little brother. He's my videographer. He's great. Nice we go on a, we go on a, we got all sorts of adventures together. Hey, hola. Uh, uh, the hola, earth hola. isn't flat. Listen, there's a documentary. Just watch just watch the one. It's on Netflix. It's called what? I don't know what it's called, but just it's like the flat earth documentary that it's on Netflix. Okay. And it's trailing flat earthers about their beliefs. And um homie accidentally proves that the earth is round. In his flat Earth experiment. Oh wow! Well, thank you. You will tell. Sure. Do you, do you have you heard of Occam's Razor? No. Occam's Razor is uh, the simplest theory. Tend, like, the simplest a, theory. Tim but is tends it like a thesis? Right is it a th- is it a theory? It's a theory. It's a theory that the simplest explanation is often the correct explanation. Okay. And there are so many true. things and explanations that prove the Earth is round and can be proven. Correct like and true time and time and time again. Okay. And the same doesn't hold up for the flat earth theory. Hmm. Ruby, when we were at the flat earth convention. Okay. We. Uh, That's so funny. We spoke to a there. lot. We spoke to a lot of people. They let me speak on stage. That's, I, yeah. I, I came out of the closet, the flat earth closet. <laughs> and we got a lot of, we got a lot of uh, input from people in the community. We got to talk to a lot of them individually. And the most, that fucking mic. And I, you drank too much prime energy, bro. You're losing your mind. You haven't sat in one spot for four it's hours. It's not been the same since you uh, brought out that Kevin Owens. That did get you fired up. I'm sorry. We spoke to one guy, kind of like the all star of the community. His name's Mad Mike Hughes. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do this. Now, Matt. <laughs> don't, do, don't do this. Please don't no, do I'm this. No, I'm giving the quick version. Uh, uh, is it the length or just the story itself? Just the story. I'm saving it for Joe Rogan. I'm saving it for No, we've told on the show many no, times. I don't think we have. Yeah, we have. Have we? Yes, we have many times. We don't tell have me, to. Tell me it's, the fucking story. Okay, okay. So Mad Mike, Hughes, Mad Mike Hughes, he was the, you can tell it even longer. He was the all-star of this community, right? Okay. Well, we asked him some questions. He gave us feedback, but we didn't have him sign a, I, I know there's a longer part of it. We didn't have him sign the release form. And he was infamous for getting very angry and suing people who got information from him without signing the release form. One additional piece of context you have to know about Mad Mike Hughes. Okay. His nickname is Mad Mike Hughes. Because he'd be mad. He's mad scientist. He creates homemade rockets that he flies in the sp- and shoots himself into space or the air so he can <laughs> prove that there is no curvature himself and that the Earth is flat. And he lives. Yeah, yeah. He comes. He comes down afterwards. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. So, so, so. Basically, we <laughs> asked him. We 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 asked him some questions. He gave us some answers. The the flat. You know, he thought. First of all, I've never heard of Mad Mike. This is the first time I've ever heard of him. I'm gonna look him up. Now we got to watch videos on Mad Mike because I want to know. Thanks for the likes. Talking to someone who was very interested in the flat earth and was okay. going to do him a service and a justice in bringing this information out. So we put out this parody video where it's so obvious that we've, we've clowned this entire community. The mm-hmm. world finds out that we think these people are fucking morons. Mm-hmm. And, about, and about a couple of two months later, him and I are served a court document that we are being sued by Mad Mike Hughes. We have to go to court to defend ourselves. How'd y'all because get served? It, by fucking Seth Rogen from Pineapple Express. Wow. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> like, 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 like you've been served. Like, so they brought us this thing, right? And it said on it, like, you guys are facing, you know, a half a million dollar fine and up to three years in prison, like each. It was like a major fine for, for libel and all this stuff. So, at, so we're, so we're like, fuck. We got to prep to go to court with this dude. We're like talking to lawyers or whatever, and we're about to go into a deposition where he prov- presents his findings, so on and so forth. But before he comes to court to present his his uh, deposition, he wants to take one last rocket mission to prove that the, the Earth is... Don't tell me this nigga dies. I will open up Twitter one morning. This Headline. nigga died? Wow. Mad Mike Hughes dies in fatal homemade rocket accident. Look at God. He crashes rocket. 
Look. I just knew that would happen. Anytime somebody is trying to like break the news, they always end up dead for some reason. And the, the parachute did right, parachute. That is fucking crazy. So you know we're in this position. Well, no, I mean, uh, you know, what do you do? What do you what, say? We don't want what him. Do? To, we don't yeah, want, Mike, don't want to Mike to die. But I can also say that Y'all why do you want to do million dollars, yeah. God shit. damn. Shit. Rest in peace, man. My Q is fucking legend. Bro, that's weird. It makes me think that they had something to do with his death because how was that coincident? Coincidental. Like what the fuck? That's weird, bro. The earth isn't flat, though. Have you seen how people grow humans say, from I, the ground? Say again, grow humans? From the ground. Oh, no. I'm interested. Alex Jones. Watch it on TikTok. Watch it on TikTok. Oh, Is no. Is that where you're getting your info? Because I feel like TikTok, <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh, know if it's the best god. source. Oh, my god. It's probably not liable. Oh, my god, I mean, dude. you know, may, maybe it is. Maybe. That's nah, probably not. You know? But the news is it. fake, too. The news is fake, too. You know. There was a time when everybody decided that the MSN the mainstream news was not trustworthy, which we all knew. We knew it was biased. CNN was left-leaning. Fox News was right-leaning. There was a 100% bias on the news. So people started to rely on, on social media and individual reporting to break down this corporate ownership of MS, of mainstream news. But the thing is, is that indivi individual reporting is more likely to be believable because who do they have to lie to? If I'm an individual and I'm literally filming an alien coming down from the sky, who do I have to lie to? Who do I have to hide from? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? If I'm exposing something with my phone. So, you get what I'm saying? That's why most people would believe me. But versus all the news where they have to speak on certain things because that's their job. Obviously, they wouldn't speak on a lot of stuff. Because guess what? They have somebody to answer to at the end of the day based on the stories that they send out. And a lot of them, they just talk about the same shit. Same shit. Guess what? It went too far. Because now I, I have started to trust the news again more than I trust what I read on. But I can understand why people trust people on TikTok, social media, Instagram, Instagram stuff. Because like I said, who do I have to answer to? Nobody. If I want to post about anything, speaking the truth. So, and then if I get in trouble, I could say, oh, I was just kidding. But it's still the truth. And Twitter and TikTok. Twitter and TikTok are fucking the most ridiculous, unless you really know who you're watching, the videos that and, and, and info that goes viral on those pages is the most brainless, idiotic shit I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. You're right. I'm in sorry. my fucking right. life. Are, are, you, are, you are you tuned in still? To TikTok? No, to, right now to what Mike's saying. Of course. I'm like thinking about like, am I fucking retarded for believing these kids? No, but... because, because yo, there was videos of, <laughs> there was videos of these 10 foot tall aliens, right? Mm -hmm. That that visited Bayside, Miami. But like, be realistic, like kids and teens fighting, why would they have fucking because 100 there was, because cop there cars? Was, bro, because there was a lot of fucking kids. There's... First of all, I read that there was a a threat, a firearms threat, which obviously, as you know, gets taken very seriously. If there's okay. a so one of the most important like things for me with anything on the two bus, is okay. that, actually, sorry, an active shooter threat. If that happens, every cop from the police station is coming. Wait, but I thought y'all believe in aliens. So like, why is no? It we so believe far in fetched? aliens, but but okay, Occam's bring to bring back up Occam's razor. Is it more believable that the entire police force of Miami showed up for an active shooter drill and a riot of kids who were fighting at the mall, which has been happening all the time lately. We see it at malls. They do big group fights. They do big- Yeah, group kids do do that. Yeah, they do. Lootings of stores. This is happening. You see, you see it with your own eyes every day on TikTok all the time. So is it more likely that the entire police force showed up to break up one of those scenarios or that 12 foot tall aliens showed up at Bayside to ride the Ferris wheel. And, and, and Ruby, get this. There were videos of the fights 
but not one video of the 12 foot tall aliens. Not one fucking video, Jorge. What? There's one video. Guess what? It's from a fucking movie. It is a rip from a movie and it went fucking viral because people are morons. They are fucking stupid. So they see this fucking ripped CGI from a movie and it goes ultra viral on, viral on Twitter because they're like, oh, look, aliens visited the Ferris wheel in Bayside. Are we fucking that stupid? We're not, Ruby. We're not. It was 9-11 real? What do you mean, was it real? Did the planes crash or was that the, okay. the government okay. setting that up? Did the, There's so many different layers of it. There's so many different layers of it. There, there's layer number one. Is like, I like how Logan is just sitting back. He's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna let my brother have this one. <laughs> Islamic terrorists, Osama bin Laden, in an attempt to bring down the West, toppled two of our strongest buildings using planes. L one layer down, George Bush, worked with Osama bin Laden to do it, to start a war that would garner more oil for the United States. There's one more layer down. The United States set bombs in explosions in three buildings in New York City to topple it for economic game and war and no plane. There's, and, and the planes were decoys. There's a layer underneath that. There were no planes. The planes were CGI and the news fucking made special effects to make it look like they're, how deep down the rabbit hole do you wanna go? I've seen videos that weren't on the news that were just individual recordings of people from boats from the Hudson River of the planes hitting the towers. So when I see that video that had nothing to do with any news station and I have someone telling me, you know, there was no planes. I believe, you know, that, there I believe no that there planes. was planes, but I think that the government like did that. And I think, you know, respectfully what's going on in Palestine, I think, you know, the government Listen, had to do with it's that just, as well. there's, there's nuance. We just had this with Hanson on, on the other episode. There's nuance to all of it. To just be, to just be able for you to see, at least you said you think there was and you yeah. have reason to believe there was, that's fine. But there's a lot of people out there who are trying to make black and white statements these days about shit that is way above their pay grade. I'm looking at these motherfuckers <laughs> on Twitter from their fucking like little dirty apartment, a yeah, dirty no, ass one bedroom apartment. Like, not, you know, not to say that wealth has anything to do with it, but you're just sitting there. You don't know what the fuck you you're know, talking no. about. You have no school. You have no security clearance. How the fuck did you get the data? How did you get the top secret data that no one else could get? You stupid motherfucker. You're sitting there eating Taco Bell. I understand what he meant. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Alphonse Jasmine, Impulsive, Ruby Rose. Thanks for watching.